Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm here with a few thrifted goodies to show you. Uh, not a lot today, but this is my Thrifty Tuesday video. So I'll show you what I picked up in the last week. Um, let's see, this was a little, you know, one of those little memo pad kind of papers with a magnet closure. I thought it was really pretty. Like I see these once in a while and I usually don't get them. But this one was exceptionally pretty, even though it has a J on it. I still liked it. Uh, here's the back. So I can possibly reuse this cover, but the inside papers were really pretty too. That I thought I would like to stick these into journal pockets. Just little papers that are really pretty and they're small. So they'll fit in any pretty much any size tuck spot or pocket. And see how pretty they are got morning light going on here so you might see some shadows but really pretty and then this also i haven't taken anything out of the wrappers yet so you might get some glare but uh little what are these are these sticky notes yeah these are sticky notes but aren't they cute with a little flowery frame there and just a bunch of those and then there's some thank you notes that I'll probably use myself. I figured for 49 cents that I would go ahead and use those. Uh, this was like a, I guess this is like a dish towel maybe. But I thought it was so cute that I got it for the fabric. And they're little, you know, peas in a pod here. <laughs> so cute, the green. And they're uh, peas in a pod. So yeah, I thought I could use that. Uh, for something a journal cover or whatever I thought it was super cute never seen anything like that before so thought I would get that and see if I could use it in a journal uh, these are too old they look pretty old I'm going to see if there's a date on here but like they're wedding themed uh, oh this is a baby and this is a wedding so they're tablecloths paper tablecloths uh, looking for a date but they look vintage they look old. Somebody bought these for a baby shower, maybe, and a wedding and never used them. And what I thought I would use them for is for uh, wrapping my orders, you know, wrapping journals or whatever I want to wrap up. Uh, kind of like tissue paper. I used, usually use tissue paper, or last year at Christmas I used a a pretty tablecloth that was not paper it was more like oh I don't know what it was kind of like plasticky I guess but really really neat it turned out to be really nice for wrapping up journals because I got, got it for like a dollar and then I had all of this stuff this whole big tablecloth to cut up it was so pretty and wrap up wrap things up with I thought it was really pretty and it looked like kind of like wrapping paper so let's see what this is okay so it's a big tablecloth the middle is probably like just white I would think if there is a middle let me see I don't know I'm not going to be able to undo the whole thing here but at least this border is really cool see that it's just pretty paper it's not I kind of wanted to see if it was how thick it was and you know it's about feels like about like tissue paper and and it feels like a napkin kind of or a tissue paper and more nap, maybe more napkiny than tissue paper, but still, it's like the thickness of a tissue paper. And I can cut this up. Say I needed to wrap something up, I can cut out one panel or two panels, and have a nice big piece of wrapping wrapping paper. So that's why I want got those. I thought that would be fun to wrap up. Let me let's look at the baby one too. And I even this baby one, I might be able to use some of it in because I'm. I have it on my short to-do list, uh, make a couple of baby journals since I made one for myself. Now I want to make some for my shop because I had so much fun making the one. And you kind of have to be in the right frame of mind. But look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you could fussy cut some of these, couldn't you? You could fussy cut that out and glue it on to a page. Look at that one there. Wouldn't that be cute? And the flowers. Oh, those are beautiful colors there. See, the, I couldn't, this is what I saw, and, but, and this has got little kind of pokes in it, like something was poking it, but the inside is perfect, and it does look like a napkin, doesn't it? 
so but it's very cool it almost looks like it has it has a texture this one and it uh it has a texture and it almost looks like it has little polka dots but that's the texture um let me show you close can you see that oh it's got cardboard in here isn't that neat the texture hopefully that's coming through this one has a this one has like a dotty texture and this one has a woven like square kind of woven little texture on it but this one feels flatter this one feels you can feel the texture more so very cool awesome i'm glad i bought them i wasn't sure i was like but they were 50 cents each so i was like well you know i if i don't if i can't use them i've only blown a dollar right even though i don't want to blow a dollar because you can buy a lot, lot with a dollar at a thrift store but <laughs> my point is that i've only blown a dollar so these were there they look like uh, pennsylvania dutch uh, type things uh doesn't say where they're from i want to open them up though let's open them up you're probably getting some glare from that plastic i don't know how old they are either but they looked really cool and i wanted to see what they are they're like little napkins but I wanted to see what they are. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. So I'm like, what is this? I've got to bring these home and check these out. So let's do it together. Let's see. I like the colors. Like, you see the little, like, Amish wagon there? Or Pen I'm describing them as Pennsylvania Dutch because they have, like, tulips and things, the colors. But then they have, like, a little Amish. Maybe they're from Amish, you know, country. There's a little label, but no no reference to Amish or where they're from or a date. But let's see. Okay, let's let's just open up one of each and see what they look like. They're small, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I could do so many things with these. You can, of course, you can take them apart. Let's see if they have more than one layer. I was measuring. I'm just getting excited. See the scalloped edge, and. Uh, Four and one quarter by four and one quarter. So they are square. Let's see what they look like when you open them up. I think they feel like only one one layer. Yeah, these are, I don't know, there's probably a second layer on there. Maybe. I'm not going to try it right now to get, them, get it apart, but it might be one layer. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Some PA Dutch talk that gifts laugh. Gif, gifts laughs. I get that. Yeah, that's the way they say it or write it. Or used to, we've no time to dopple. The button don't bell, bump the door. <laughs> I think that means I get going out the door. Okay, so cool. It is from it's from Pennsylvania and it's Pennsylvania Dutch, just like I thought it looked like. So that's one, and you can collage with these. These are really cool. How many are in here? Oh, 75. Okay, so maybe I'll share some of these in my shop. There's an awful lot of these and. What am I going to do with 75 of them, right? This one has some cool old, maybe Pennsylvania Dutch type wording here. We grow too soon, old, unt, too late, smart, <laughs> too late, smart. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so, and here's the back again with the little Pennsylvania Dutch kind of quotes. The drink is all but the ice gets, the drink is all but the ice is yet. So pretty cool right and then these have the little people at the mailbox and it has some like Pennsylvania Dutch language there that's really cool but I've never really seen that before I don't believe rather would I live single live than to my wife the britches give <laughs> I don't know. Don't know what that means exactly, but I have to think about that one. <laughs> but cute, right? Okay, yeah, that was that was a neat little find. Something different. And then here's another little Pennsylvania Dutch looking thing. It was this whole set here. I saw the paper coasters. I saw napkins, and these look like placemats. So let's check it out. Never opened. Someone bought these probably for a souvenir when they went to Pennsylvania and never even open them which is a shame but what were they going to use them for right they just wanted to look at them i guess they didn't do junk journaling so they didn't get to use them <laughs> they didn't do paper crafting or scrapbooking probably this is called a hostess set 
12 placemats, 12 coasters, 12 beverage napkins. And it has the same little kind of label that the other napkins did, this little kind of label here. And so, yeah, it does say Pennsylvania Dutch. These are different napkins that are, you know, different graphics, but the same scalloped edge. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Uh, no, nothing on the back of these. So it just has that one corner with uh, something on it, but super cute. Here's another one up here, another few. So those, this is uh, what, 12, 12, and 12. So 12 of each paper, pretty little paper coasters. Aren't those cute and colorful? And then these are cool because they're napkins, I mean placemats, and they can be used as a page in a journal like this. Of course, that's giant, so hmm, maybe uh, if it was a traveler's notebook, they could be folded again, you know, a fold out. And let's see, how tall are they, actually? Tra standard size traveler's notebook is uh, eight and one quarter, so these are basically nine and three quarters, so yeah, I don't know, I guess. And you can cut these out too, look, little squares. You can actually cut out the little squares, um, back them onto cardstock, make journaling cards. Uh, this could be a beautiful something, on, even on the front of a journal. Cut that circle out. Or they can be cut down a little bit as pages. So I figured those would be very useful, uh, the placemat and, uh, and the whole set here. And so that's not everything. Got a few more things to share. Just the car it's a cardboard there. Oh, I wonder if this can be peeled apart. I don't have any corrugated cardboard. I wanted to see if I could, if you peel it apart, sometimes you get the corrugation in between. Let's see here. Uh, this is corrugated, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. And that's great for layering in your journals right there. So this I'm going to be taking apart and having me some. Finally, when I remember to save it, I save all my cardboard, but usually it's just flat. It's not corrugated. So finally I have some corrugated cardboard. Okay, so three, basically three more things. These were really interesting little books. Look how put, they're put together, so cute here with strings. And then one is letters to my baby and one is letters to my future self. And so let's see what is inside here. They are envelopes. The me I used to be, the older and wiser, me from long ago, uh, the more experienced me. <laughs> Just really cute, right? And, oh, this is the stationery. Okay, so you write a letter here. Are they all like that? Okay, let me see here. Isn't this cool? This would be great to stick in pockets. And just, are they perforated or are you supposed to leave them in here? Let me see, they're not perforated. But I can cut this string out and pull them out of here, apparently. Uh, but this is a whole piece, this is the whole piece right here. So yeah, I can take it apart and use these envelopes. Oh, here's some stickers. And they're cool. Look at that, like airmail looking. And here's the different little envelopes. And how many are in here? Uh, it doesn't say there. Let's see if it says on the back here. It doesn't say, but there's a lot. There's a lot. See? All of these. Cool, right? I thought these were really cool. I've never seen anything like this before, but it must have been somebody got this for a gift and decided not to write letters to themselves, <laughs> but their future selves. But look, see the airmail looking? Uh, and it's a perfect little journaling spot, right? With the lines and oh, they're all really cool looking envelopes. And then you have a secret journaling spot inside. So I thought those were really neat. Future, see the airplane on this one? And it has a little postmark with the uh, postage and the decoration. And I'm just really loving these. <laughs> Look at that. So cool. Okay, so that's the... Letters to my future self. This one's letters to my baby. Great for baby journal or any journal, probably. Let's see, so 
Let's, oh, this one's already coming apart. Look at that. I did not do that. Okay. I wonder if I can take them. <laughs> yes. They're just glued in. I didn't even have to cut the string. They're glued in right there. That one was already coming apart. So, you know. Uh, yeah. So then they just have to be cut separated here. This has got really sticky, sticky stuff on it there. But here's what these are. The same thing. But for babies, like... That's just this XOXO, so is it really babyish or it's not really that babyish, actually. But it says, from me long ago to you all in due time, so not really babyish. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this back here has a little, my wishes for you are. So that's the part that you know, applies to writing something to your baby, uh, your child, whatever. What I want you to know about me. Okay, on the back. Oh, and this has a place for a date and... Okay, so sealed on, date, and then to be opened. And you're put, so supposed to put a date there. That's interesting. Okay, so let me just show you one more on the inside and then we'll just look at the outside to see how much writing room there is. Tons of writing room there. And you fold it up and here's the envelopes. Let's just look at the front of the envelopes now. We've got the front of the envelope with the postmark and the stamp and you know all of that so you'll be able to see the back and the front here with me explore i've got one more thing to explore with you though so we don't want to take too long here very cute very cute i like the little special delivery mark there and <laughs> these are so <laughs> these are so cute awesome you know, because these were new and they're not vintage. I, they, I mean, they don't look new. They don't have a date on them, but they don't, they look new. They don't look old is what, I'm, what I mean. But, uh, you know, I was like, these are so cool. I, you know, even though they're not vintage, I, I must use them in my journals. They're so cute. Why not? And they, they have stickers in this one too. Also kind of airmail looking, but more colorful. Priority mail. Isn't that cool? I probably would use these in the journal and not on the envelopes because the envelopes already have a lot of decoration, right? So these are just great to use in a journal. Awesome. Love it. Love it. So glad I found those. <laughs> so cool. You never know. You never know. Okay, so this is stationery. Let's see. Hallmark stationery. Uh, does it just slip out? It just slips out. Okay. And then what is in here? Let's see. I tried to look at it a little bit. There's a pin. I wonder what color it writes. Oh, it writes red. Isn't that interesting? A red, is it a marker? I think it's a, no, I think it's a pin. So this is little seals, which are stickers, stickers. And they're all the same, all the same. Little cats, little kitty cats. And they're just little round, I guess you do. Yeah, they peel them off the middle here. So the little round cat stickers. Those are cute. And it came in this little plastic, which is broken here. One of the little things that grab. Or no, it just came out, I see. I just need to see it put back together. Anyway, oops, I'm going to break it if I'm not careful. Might want to keep that for something. We'll see. But anyway, a little plastic case. Isn't that adorable? Some envelopes. They're cream colored. Some stationary more envelopes. Okay, so there's the envelopes. Envelopes. Put those back in there for now. And then the pretty little stationary. Looks like it was maybe never used. How many pieces does it say? How many pieces? Let me see. Pen. No, not there. Let's see the back here. There's quite a bit. No, 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 no indication of how many pieces, but oh, it's glue on the back too, so that's good. It's not white on the back. That's awesome. So pretty blue, light blue stationery that can be used as a page or like this. Even though your kitty cat is sideways, that's okay. Or it can be, this could be fussy cut out or possibly could use it like this. I don't know. It's a little bit, you're folding your cat kind of in the middle. So I probably wouldn't use it like that. But uh, also just fold it and put into a tuck. I would fold it like this so it would fit in a tuck spot. And there you go. You have some pretty stationery as journaling. Oh, this one's white. Oh, that's weird. Let me see this again. Because these are blue right here. 
blue, and these are white. Okay, there's some. Oh, okay. I see what's happening here. These are have the picture on the front and white on the back. These are solid blue on both sides. So that's neat. Just some blue paper, which is great for a baby journal, <laughs> baby boy journal, or a baby of, you know, where you're putting, you don't know what the baby is, and you put blue and yellow and green and stuff, pink, whatever, all colors in there, so, uh, or any journal, really, that you want to put some pretty paper in, so that's it. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed getting it. I enjoyed shopping for you. <laughs> than for me so thanks for watching you never know what will show up in my shop so keep an eye over there uh i only list a few you know if i list a dozen items in a week i'm doing great so it takes me time to get all these things that i bring home listed but i have a pile right now to list so just keep an eye over there and i'll see you next time thanks for watching happy crafting and happy thrifting <laughs>